Former Governor of Arkansas Mike Huckabee is here, um, and we're looking at this list. Governor um, Senator Blunt of Missouri, Shelley Capito of West Virginia, Tom Cotton of Arkansas. They mostly credit the bill's increase in defense spending for their vote. Governor, do you think that's a fair justification? I do not. I think that you have to look at the big picture. And the fact is, they spent a whole lot of our money. People worked hard to get their money, and the government took it from them. And they're spending it on stuff that can't be justified, like $3.5 million for uh, a bee highway bill that protects bees on the highways. Come on, $3.5 million uh, for the Michelle Obama trail? I mean, that's ridiculous. And a whole lot of this is social engineering. It's uh, pride uh, expenditures to promote LGBTQ pride. Uh, I'm just not sure that's a, a function of the government. And, and so what we're seeing is people saying, oh, we had to vote for it or the government will shut down. Well, if we vote for this stuff and keep spending money, every American household will shut down hmm. because there's not going to be enough money uh, that people can pay those taxes to even pay the interest on the debt. So uh, a pox on all their houses yeah. for voting for this nonsense. Yeah, Governor, nothing for border security in the bill. Senators Lee, Cinema, Tester, they all tried to at least get Title 42 extended in the bill. They failed. I want you to listen to this. This is Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer making, in my opinion, a major admission. Watch here. I think first, I think the Biden administration realizes it has to come up with a real plan for the border that not just punitive or health oriented. You know, Title 42 has no consequences. So you cross the border, you push back on the other side, and the same people cross over and over again. It's not a comprehensive plan that's ever going to work. And so the Biden administration's coming up with one. Okay, Governor, Title 42 <laughs> might not be enough, but it is responsible, and I pulled this from something Griff Jenkins reported earlier. It prevented 178,000 migrants out of 575,000 that tried to cross in just the past 84 days. That is something, but clearly we need more. What else do we need? Uh, for two years, Joe Biden's been president. He's undone everything that was working in terms of securing the border. He's got a Department of Human uh, or Department of Homeland Security who's utterly incompetent. Should never have been hired. Certainly should be fired if not impeached. And uh, this this whole nonsense uh, is an insult to the American's common sense. You know, the, the Congress comes up with these last minute, got to fund it right now, got to go home for Christmas. This is like a college student that goofs off the whole semester and then goes through an all nighter to try to pass the test and yeah. congratulates himself for making a D. I'm sorry. I You've know. had months to work on this. You waited till the last minute. Now you shove it down the Americans' throats. You haven't read the bill. It's an insult to all of our intelligence. And all of you ought to resign if you can't do your job and get your homework done before the last day before you try to go home for Christmas. It's Ridiculous. Parallel it to right now, I'm sure you still have Christmas shopping left to do, as we all do. Yeah. This is this this procrastination and this last minute push is exactly what our government is doing. Governor, Merry Christmas to you and the family. Thank you for the time today. I know it's a busy time. Merry Christmas, Lauren. Thank you.